Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Here we have 2004 Toyota Matrix XR. You saw it in the previous video because it suffers with P0505 which is problem with idle air control valve. So there is original one and in that previous video I tried to show you around we remove the valve and within a reasonable time I try to really quickly clean it because the vehicle was sitting for like approximately one year I did a bunch of service and the last thing is that high idle it idles basically at 1800 rpm it won't go down the throttle body it's perfectly clean everything's fine but I believe this electronic part electromagnetic part is not responding it's it has a rust corrosion inside and therefore it's not moving so it's defective I have a new one and that gives me a chance to show you a difference between the one which doesn't work and the new unit which we can install in just in a couple of minutes so I have disconnected this valve itself for the purpose of this comparison test you can see that three pin connector and last time I read you the number which Toyota still sells it under I made a mistake it's a 22270-0D as a David 0404 I was reading that D as a 0 in that previous video so I apologize for that maybe you can see it nicely yourself right now this I grabbed this different camera this is camcorder which can really come close and show the details so now what we will be observing in this comparison right there that is that wheel which needs to be turning like this right electromagnetic unit and I'm assuming when I will put the ignition on it will it's supposed to move right there and I think it's a seized this one is seized it's not moving so we will hook it back to the vehicle and you guys will observe it if I have to put some light on it I will see that part right there that stuff should be moving so let's go and see the difference between the bad one and the brand new one and let's see what we can do how we can observe this unit together maybe we need to turn it slightly I'm not sure maybe we need to be looking more from above let me change the angle so on top in that upper right opening there is that little shaft and that should turn we should see the movement if I put the ignition on so let me go put it on and you will tell me if it moves I really really wonder I should probably cycle here we go was there any movement my friend I expect no movement because I will say it ceased so let's back out of here and I will bring the brand new IAC valve we will hook it to the vehicle while the ignition is off and we will compare it. so I have that new valve connected and hopefully this is detail enough and I'm going to put that ignition on I will not start it but just ignition on and there should be a movement did it cycle through I came back I'm not sure if it cycled 
but I definitely feel if you hold it like this I actually feel slightly vibration from this entire unit so it's an electromagnetic unit and I'm looking also here in that closing and opening but I feel vibration this one was basically completely dead the old one there was I, I didn't feel absolutely anything on this one let me show you the ignition on and off from different angles And now, one more time, last time, I will show it with the bad one. This is the old one. You can see it over here. And off. Now, why am I doing this? Why am I showing this? Aren't there professional ways to test it, peer it? I'm spending this extra time because I have a new valve, you saw it, it works. I was just able to put it, remove the old one, put it back with a new gasket, right? You change the rubber gasket and be done with it. But I felt this is a great opportunity to show you if you have that P0505, which clearly points at this IAC valve. This is perfect opportunity for you without any tools. You just need Phillips screwdriver. It's a three screws. It will probably not go easily off. Normally it's hard, but in the previous video it actually gave, but I had the whole throttle body off, which is way easier to have it on the bench here than in the vehicle upside down, there's not much space. But you are able, without any multimeters, without any testing tools, without special connectors to change the voltage and keep seeing moving the shaft this way. It's a very simple for you, if you have this problem, to really quickly identify, okay, I have a valve which is seized i will either put it on the bench and try to completely disassemble it clean it as much as i can right they will be in different shape some of you might have it out or not working because it's gunked up this one was sitting in the vehicle and rusting somewhere in the yard it was not in the garage those cowwebs and so on, it just shows me. So I believe that electronic unit, it's toast, but I'm replacing it with a new one. Therefore, I will be in possession of the old one. And maybe as Toyota geeks, we can completely take it apart, including that separate the electronic unit from the body, from that aluminum body, and see if we can fix it anyway. So I wanted to film this. I took extra time to film it for you to see immediately direct comparison which you can do with help of your friend one of you can be holding it and looking at it and you just ask somebody hey can you put the ignition on and you need to see that movement which you just saw in this video so this is my gift for you I appreciate your support I appreciate your views and before I will be returning this vehicle with a new valve, I really wanted to spend this time with a video which helps you in the case you will have a problem with IAC valve. Now, don't forget, this is not just this 1ZZFE four cylinder in the Matrix Corolla. IAC valve. It's also underneath the throttle body on Tacomas on 5VZFE. And I can tell you, it will be doing the same thing. The design, the valve is not identical, but the design is identical. It works the same way. Where is that weird shaft with that asymmetrical shape and that allows the air go or closes it, right? When the throttle body opens, the valve closes it and it uses the throttle body. 
when the throttle body at the stop goes completely closed, this IAC valve is in the charge of the idle air. So it's a two different units. As we said later, this was eliminated. You don't find it. IAC valves on. Aha, uh -huh, I should not point it there. <laughs> on one GRFE, four liter V6. These motor engines have the idle air coming around the butterfly valve in the throttle body. This was eliminated. So this is older design, yet a lot of you own these vehicles. Now you know how to look at it, how to check it, inspect it, test it without any basically special tools. So once again, thank you for your support and be subscribed. I have a lot of coming your way soon. See ya.